Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today is um is the North London Derby. This is video. Well, this will be. What do you think, Jack? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So so far in the series, it's um it's one all. Actually, no, we both drew a game, which was England Northern Ireland. But that wasn't That's, recorded though. So. That was Northern Ireland. He was England. We didn't record that one, but it counts towards the season anyway. So yeah, then we did Barcelona v. Real Madrid, which I won 4-2. Then we did Bayern Munich versus... No, Russia Dortmund versus Bayern Munich, which he won 4-2, wasn't it? 5-3. 5-3, sorry. Uh, and now we're doing this. And then the next one's going to be Liverpool Everton. So. I'm happy with this team, actually. Yeah, me too. Do I, do I put Giroud on the bench or not? That's what I'm trying to say. The boots get right, but. Right, I'm ready. Hang on. Six, five, four, three, Sanchez? two, one. Where's Alexis Sanchez? Have you got Sanchez in your team? No. Oh my god, no. Where what? Thorvald. Odegaard. Oh, Teta. Right. He's on the bench. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to change that straight away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who should I play him instead of? Do you? Oxide Chamberlain or Santi Carzo. And now it's fucking shit. Riviere was decent. Now he's shit. All these players are getting completely podgy. Right. So at the minute, people probably literally compare us to people like, you know, like. God damn it. People compare us probably to like I don't know, like Aston Villa and people. Mm. Aston Villa, West Ham, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of teams. Like bottom half of the table anyway. When actually they should be up with like Chelsea and Man United and Man City and people. Yeah. But until Mike Ashley goes, Pardew's not going. And, well, basically, Pardew's not going until Ashley's going. And Ashley's not going until Rangers get promoted back into the Scottish Premier League. And that might not necessarily happen this season. And if it doesn't, then Ashley's going to be staying until they get back up, basically. So, yeah. Because Mike Ashley doesn't care. He'll not sack Pardew, but then... Whoever the new owner is, will. Yeah. So basically, until Ashley goes, Pardew's dead. But we're, we're losing week in, week out, and after every single match, there's confirmations from all over the place that he said that Pardew's gone. And then you hear about a day later, and uh, you hear you see it in the newspaper, Alan Pardew job safe at Newcastle United. Yeah. That, that was a lucky goal, by the way. Look at this. Adepayo used to play for Arsenal, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Did you see, well, yeah, did you see what he did when uh, he left um, Arsenal and went to Man City in his first game? What did he do? He scored in his first game for Man City, and it was against Arsenal, right? Yeah. He runs the entire pitch to where the Arsenal fans are and does a knee slide in front of them. Really? Yeah. He shouldn't really be doing that. You shouldn't be celebrating at all, really, if you're scoring against your old club. Mm. Most players have the respect not to do that. Oh. Most players have the respect not to do that. And even if you do celebrate, you shouldn't deliberately make it like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't, you know how, like, Ramsey picked up Welbeck like that? Yeah. I don't think it's possible for any footballer to actually... Like, this is the strongest footballer in the world. I'm not even joking. His strength in FIFA is like 99. Who is this? Akin Fenwa. Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Mate, it's Welbeck. <laughs> Welbeck? 
Max Decent. Aye. He's decent. He's decent. He did men for England against Switzerland. Aye. It's Ozil! Got to be! Slides away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I find so funny about uh, FIFA commentary, you know what I mean? They, they say, it's definitely in and they miss completely. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was playing this Newcastle, and it was like, they Newcastle have played well, they're going to get the win, they're going to bag these three points, and then all of a sudden, last minute, I can see... I lost like 2 0 to West Brom in one of my recent. Because professional is so hard, that's how to change the settings a bit. Yeah. A little bit, I mean like literally by about 5. 5, whatever they go. Oh, oh! Master. Come on, come on, come on. Ericsson! <laughs> Ericsson plays for Denmark. I'm just going... Just saying it for the sake of saying I know, I'm just talking... I was about to say I'm talking gibberish again, aren't I? I'm going to be there. The Danish international. I used to wonder where Danish people were from. Like, I knew about Denmark, but I, I didn't know that they were called Danish, so... I was like, is there a place called Daneland or something? I wouldn't say in year two. Are are um Swedish people from Switzerland? <laughs> oh my god! Do you know Eric Lamella is the worst replacement in football? Like they put they got rid of Bale and put in Eric Lamella. Remy Cabela is not the Kabai replacement. Sim De Jong is. Yeah. See, Young has done really well when he has played. Mesut is a. Uh... You know, I'm not even bothered. I'm just like literally just. Well, I'm gonna make this up because this team yeah. is just nowhere right now. I was like, no, nah, I didn't. Me, I would never reach it. Right. I Do I take Ramsey off? That's the. No, taking Ozil off. Why did I take it? Oh no, I made a mistake. Oh well, he did this shit. Dalston's coming on. Yeah. Oh bollocks. You're making two subs and I'm making two subs. They would never actually do that in real football though. I didn't mean to take Adebayo off. Oh crap, oh well. Have you even got a goal scorer now? Well, Soldado. Soldado, it's kinda. Suppose, maybe. I don't know. I was just supposing. God damn it, Tottenham are bad. At least they've got Hugo Lloris in goal. <laughs> Although he hasn't done the best today, conceding four goals. I think FIFA 15 suits me much better than 14, to be honest. Mm. The whole set, the whole gameplay. The gameplay is there. Come on. Let's see, Tottenham. Tottenham are going to be playing at Wembley, you know, while the stadium gets redeveloped. It's um, the only time Tottenham will ever make it to Wembley. How do you know that, like? Because they had a vote, so while the stadium's getting redeveloped, they're going to be playing at Wembley. Oh. Uh, it's the only time they'll ever be there. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes and kicks Chesney in the <laughs> check. 
Oh, come on. What the hell? <laughs> I think I should be manager of Arsenal, not Arsene Wenger. Mm. If you had to, if you had to join Sunderland no. to ever get the Newcastle. No. You wouldn't? No. No, Even if you never got selected for the team? No. So you'd rather... And if it meant Newcastle went down to the... Um, to, like, the conference? No, no, never happen anyway, so... No. But if it did... Jack, you, you know you've been an absolute traitor even asking that question. I'm just wondering... Yes. <laughs> as soon as I say that, you go and score. Mean. <laughs> Short for decent. Ah. Decent. It sounds like you're saying um, ten in French. Oh, come on. Go on, well, Beck. <laughs> oh. Nearly. Oh, did you see when uh, Comedy Shorts came eh? Put that he packed Deji and he just put a picture of his custom card on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I packed Deji! It said Pussy, it said, it said pussy Destroyer on it, yeah. Why does he put North South Korea? Sorry. This is it's a joke. He used to play his like career on a uh, ultimate team and it'd be team career. Why? It's it's a, it's a joke. It's a joke, Jack. You have to be then since you're thirteen to understand. Pisses me off. He even wears a career shirt. So. It actually pisses me off. Why? It's not career. So, we'll show wore a Cameroon shirt not long ago and no one gave a crap. Yeah, but Cameroon are mint. I love Cameroon, they're my favourite African team. I know, but... That's the World Cup, in it? <laughs> Ghana did decent. They drew with Germany, didn't they? Yeah. Still think uh, they, they, them winning the World Cup was a bit of a fluke, to be honest. Mm. Please remember the legs.